Hi everyone, I'm back with a demo on my concert bass drum. Um, this is probably one of my favourite unpitched percussion instruments because it's so broad in its scope of tone colours and possibilities. Um, some great reference pieces are um, a piece by uh, Christopher Tonkin called In, which is for bass drum and electronics. So some of the techniques I'll be showing you are specifically from that piece. Also, Gerard Grise wrote a duo called Stele, S-T-E-L-E. -E. Um, and of course, there's lots more in kind of chamber music and orchestral music that can be referenced. Now, the way we normally play concert bass drum is with these big beaters and you can hear makes a thunderous kind of soft um, underscore um, when I play it quite soft in a roll of course I can play just loud strikes with these um, kind of softer, heavier mallets, but that's in a way a more traditional way of um, approaching this instrument. So that might be how you're asked to play it in an orchestral context. Um, what I find really interesting is scraping the skin because it's often quite a textured skin. Um, so I could do that with my fingernails. my hands or with this uh, scrubbing brush which I like this one because it's kind of quite malleable I can also use it on the rim which I'm just trying to work out what you can see I mean Christopher Tonkin's piece he actually uses that sound and with a max patch it creates all these amazing kind of sound worlds on top of it really beautiful okay so there's those kind of more skin oriented techniques and then um we've got our super ball of course which is pretty much like the most effective um way to sound the bass drum with the super ball So I can get sort of like high harmonics and if I press harder they tend to be quite low. If I go fast, it's louder. If I go slow, it's kind of easier to control a single pitch. But I never really know what pitch is going to come out. Remembering that I could always have my Super Bowl in one hand, say my right hand, and I could have a mallet in the other hand. So I could be doing this sort of underscore, whale-like sound. And I could play the rim. Which leads me to these mallets, which are called um, hot rods, so these are actually lightning rods, they're a bit chunkier, the actual pieces of rattan. And um, sort of like a bit more of a clangorous sound um, than if you were just to use the shaft of, say, a vibraphone beater, which is what these are. the pitch bend when I go up and down the shaft. So that's quite effective as well. And then actually um, there's these other types of hot rods which are much smaller pieces of rattan. These are more like um, what we would call rooters, um, which Mahler uses a lot in his orchestral bass from writing. The other thing 
that's really effective on the bass drum is um, hitting the, the actual rim here. So you can see it's quite deep. So um, it's like a massive wood block in a way. <laughs> maybe sort of focus on this as a wooden sound and then the rim and then the head as well. So there's kind of three very distinct different um, pitches here. Um, if I play the actual um, body of the drum with these bass drum sticks, you can hear it doesn't sound quite as effective because these sticks are a bit too soft. These vibraphone beaters, which are um, kind of like reasonably soft vibraphone beaters, but they're not nearly as soft as bass drum mallets. So you can hear it's sort of like a thin sounding um, wood block in a way. Now, I just wanted to end with something quite fun, which is this thing called a, well, it's a giant nano bug. And I, I think it's got these um, hair bands on it because sometimes I put it on a, on a stick as well. Um, but you can hear, it's a really great way of getting the bass drum to sound without actually using your hands. And then you can focus your hands on two other different techniques. Uh, how do I turn it on? Oh, here we go. Okay, so you can hear it sort of like buzzes. And it's just going to travel around the bass drum head. If I want it to be louder, I might put it in the middle. It's very cute. Um, and now if I put this shaft on, like on it, um, it kind of... louder it's very funny and it is actually something that yeah you can have a bit of fun with um, uh, I love the fact that it's kind of digital but it's really just a kid's toy so it's um, it's not particularly uh, developed in terms of the electronic world but it, it sounds quite electronic um, if you have any questions feel free to email me claire at ensembleoffspring.com and good luck with your writing for bass drum